Algorithms are whoa, quite a massive topic and I could spend hours talking to you about all the different things that you could and couldn't do um, to solve a particular problem that was given to you using different kind of algorithms. But I'm not. I'm going to just focus on the absolute basics, which is the inputs and the outputs to an algorithm and a little bit, a tiny bit about how you can get there. Think of an algorithm just like this. You have some input, okay? Could be numbers, could be letters, could be a combination of that, could be something completely different. Then you get some processing on that input. Now it could be a bit of maths, it could be a little bit of something else. Let's not worry about what it is, but the important thing is that that input data is changed in some way. And then you get at least one output. Now, this is the complex bit, well, the one the complex bits. You can end up with multiple outputs from that one input. You could end up with different outputs depending on what your input is. And kind of an example of that, what I mean by that, imagine you're playing a computer game and you press the left key. You want your character to move left, you don't want it to move right. So that's one output, the character moves, is, moves left. Whereas a different output, if your input is the right key, is that your character moves right. So that's different outputs based on your input. We're going to focus on just a very straightforward problem and then we're going to try and identify the inputs and the outputs as we're doing that. So let's read through this. Kenneth needs a program that will print out the next two numbers after the number that is entered. For example, if the number of seven was entered, the program should output eight and nine. So can we identify the inputs and the outputs? And then from that, can we start figuring out how to get there? So if you have a read through, and if you need to pause the video, please do to try and figure out what the inputs outputs are yourself. But if you have a read through, it should become fairly clear that we're entering a number because it says after the number that is entered. Outputs, it says here, will print out the next two numbers. So we know we're printing out two numbers um, and it's actually going to be the next two numbers. And that gives us a bit of a clue as to what the processing is as well, which we'll come on to in a little bit. OK, so let's focus on this bit. This is going to be my algorithm that I'm, I'm creating. I'm going to focus on the input first. All right. I need to store my input in a variable. If you don't know what a variable is, go and watch the variables video so you can get that in your head because you're going to need that for this. OK, I'm going to call my variable my num. Um, and how I get some information from the user. If I want them to type it in and press enter and for me to be able to store that, I use a command called input. This is in Python, um, but please have a look at your own program language if you're not using Python. So please enter a number. That is my input done, okay? That's my algorithm uh, done so far for getting the input. So I've done this bit here, so I tick, I've done that, okay. I've got some processing and I need to get to the output. So I've got print out the next two numbers. Well, if we have a think about this, if I'm doing the next two numbers, that means I've got my num plus one. So this is like the maths bit now, my num plus one, and I've got my num plus two. Easiest thing for me to do now is to store these into two separate variables. So let's do this. This equals, and I'm going to do total. I'm going to call this total. So total one and total two. So that's my processing done now. Okay, so input processing. And then that brings me to our last stage, okay, which is the output. So now I've got these two things. I need to get them to the screen. And I can usually uh, get, to, well, I can definitely print stuff to the screen. If I print stuff to the screen, then that is my output. So that will appear on the screen to the user. So print total one and print total two. That is now my output, okay? So I've done, gone through my three steps. I've gone input, processing, and output. And I've ended up with an algorithm on the right-hand side here. So my num equals input. We have a read for it yourself. I've solved this problem using input, processing, and output. So if you, you remember those things, that you've got input, you've got output, and you've got some processing to do, and your processing gets you from input to output, and that is your basics of solving algorithms. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.